Hello from Maltese Obsession. This is Pinky. Say hi, Pinky. And Pinky's going to be our model today to demonstrate one of many ways to trim the pads of our feet. And Pinky is a very uh, dense, she's tiny, but she's dense. She's six and a half pounds. She has a very, very small face. She has tiny features. You can see compared to my thumb here, her nose is very tiny. She has very petite features. And we're in the process of growing her ears out. And she also had tremendous staining through her teething period. She's the one that chewed out all my baseboards. And we have been using a regime that's different than the other dogs. And I started it after her teething, I probably started it maybe a month or two ago, where I put contact solution on the sides of her face and I clean it just once a day, but I think some people like to do it a couple times a day. And what I do is I put a few drops on here and I rub it in and then I would come over here and I put a few drops and I rub it in and then afterwards I dry it with a tissue and I do cornstarch and I rub the cornstarch corn in similar to what I showed you in Tweety's debut video and what was all stained here has gotten much cleaner and I made the mistake of uh, not raising this hair here so there's some short hairs and it really does help to not touch this if I wanted to get her clean I could trim all this out and have her be pretty white but rather than that I'm trying to get the wet the most stained parts of her eye hair I'm actually going to be growing out into her top knot and that will also help. The less hair that's poking her in the eyes, the less she will stain. There's quite a few ways to cut the pads of her feet. And the first way would be using the wall bravura. This is the older version. This is the new lithium version. According to the company, they're saying that the lithium version has better battery memory and should last longer. Um, as far as noise goes, the reason why these wall bravures are so fondly loved by professional groomers and home groomers like us is that they're really quiet. And so because they don't make a lot of noise, um, the dogs are more likely to allow us to allow the clipper to get real close. As you can see, the clipper is very quiet. I've turned it on. She's not afraid of it. She is used to it. It's, it's very, very quiet compared to human buzzers and some other dog buzzers. So I guess that's one of the appeals of these wall bravuras. The other is that these five-in-one blades do not get hot. They do, however, get pretty warm. So as far as the comparison, as far as noise, this is the wall bravura, pretty quiet. And this is the lithium. Wall Bravura. And the wall lithium. And while they're both quiet, I'm going to have to say that the lithium has a different frequency and it's not as hummy and warm quiet as the original wall. There is a higher frequency with this lithium one, but again, it's pretty negligible. A second tool that I sometimes cut the trim the pads with is the Brav Mini. And the Brav Mini, as you can see, is tiny. And because my dogs have very tiny paws, this can sometimes be quite a great tool to use on the pads. And this is what this sounds like. Pretty quiet compared to the lithium. 
So I'm going to start with the back pads and I'm going to show you using the big bra, bravura, how I just like to trim the pads right here. Let's see if I can get the camera. I just like to trim this because we have all hardwood and granite floors in our house and the dogs play around so rough I don't like having this hair here and it's all a matter of preference but I like having slippers on my dog's feet and have this all flared out on the sides but when we take them out for walks they get really dirty so for our house and our purposes because we like to keep the feet clean I actually take the feet, um, the hairs on the feet, a little higher. I want to say, I guess she hasn't been groomed for a month, but I like to have it about a half an inch off the ground. So this is my technique. If you like slippers on your feet, your dog's feet, then you may not want to do this particular style. So what I'll do is I'll turn on the bravura and there's quite a few settings. If you switch it to the left on the 5-in-1 blade, it's, I don't know if you can see, but this is a very long cut, um, and that's a 9. If you switch it to the second setting, I believe it's a 10. The absolute middle setting here is a 15, which is a nice, a nice setting to start when you're first clipping the pads of your dog's feet so that you won't cut the dog. And after that, the second to the right, last right setting is a 30 blade. And that is much closer and that's probably as close as you want to get. You really don't want to get any closer than the 30 um, because you run the risk of possibly cutting the dog or, or nicking the pads of the feet. And then the very right setting is a 40. The 40 is a very, very close shave, unless you're a professional groomer or very, very experienced, you will never want to go near any of the dog's area using the very close setting. What this 40 setting is perfect for is when you use the metal clip-on blades and that's the setting that I will use when I use the metal clip-on blades. So for purposes of this demo, I normally do a 30 setting, but for today, I will do a 15, which is right in the middle, and it's a good starter setting for those of you at home starting to groom your dog's feet. So we'll start with the back. I'm gonna bring all the hairs of the leg down and just make sure it's all even before I grab the paw, paw, paw or the leg and tilt it backwards. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the buzzer and again it's on the 15 setting which is the middle and this is just when I'm in a hurry. I will go parallel to the pads. You don't ever want to go in at this angle because it will hurt them. You just really want to go parallel and scoop out the feet like that. You can pretty much do it because her pads are so little. You can do it in one, almost one pass sometimes, but... And that's, and that's it. It's not as tight as I like. I like to get it a little bit tighter, but because I had it on a 15, it didn't go all the way in, but it's, it's pretty clean. Um, so if I want to go a little tighter, and I would go to a 30 setting, which is the second to the last on the right, I can do one more pass. Oops, Let's see if I can get it in the camera. I can do one, again, going parallel to the foot. I can go in and scoop out a little bit more. And I'm just 
clearing the pad area of her feet. So that's pretty much it. It takes just a few seconds to do the inner part of the feet. And we can use the other paw to demonstrate how the little brav mini works. So again, I'm going to stand her up. Thank you. And I'm going to pull all the hairs down. Pull these down before I lift before I lift with my left hand. And then I'll tilt her back. And I'll turn her a little bit. And hopefully the camera will capture this. So what I'll do is I'll turn on the broad mini. And again, you never want to go in at an angle like this because this is a 30 blade, which is pretty close to the skin. It's a short cut. So I'm always going to go in parallel with the pads of the feet. And that way, I'm not risking nicking the inside. So here, we'll just poof up the hair a little bit and we'll just go like parallel to the skin. Then I'm going to scoop out this part Scoop out that part. Scoop out. Scoop, out. but I'm not angling it. I'm again always floating parallel to the skin, and I'm I'm not pushing on her pad. I'm just floating above her skin. And here I'm going to take the hairs that are hanging over. And I'm going to make a circular motion and clip right into my hand, making a circle. And what doesn't get shown is I will also clip the hairs that are overhanging in front of the toes. And this will make a nice, clean, level, circular leg, which will be about half an inch off the floor and keep their legs nice and clean and the hairs off the floor and real pretty legs. Here we go. This is the front pad. And I'm going to grab the hairs just like before. I'm going to grab them and make the hair go all the way down. And then you can see the overgrowth here. I'm going to use my fingers to keep her hair away. And then do a quick swipe. go. And then we'll try to do the other paw. Hope we can't do this paw. I'm going to grab the hairs and bring it down. And then we're going to put the hair like this. And I'm going to make sure her head doesn't get in the way. And I'm going to go down. And I'm going to make a circle going around my hand. You can see the Brav Bravura actually works much faster. You can get it all done in one fell swoop. And that's it. Top knot. Show viewers at home, we're going to do the Dolce flip on you. But Pinky doesn't like to lay down and relax. Dolce likes to lay down when I'm clipping her. So every dog has their own. We're not done. But it's nice that you got up. Could show folks at home how we do the Dolce flip on you. It's so funny, Pinky, that you don't <laughs> that you don't lay down for us. Yes, good girl.